There's a viral tweet going around detailing some of the information on a potential Batman Beyond movie. It looks like this was originally kind of turned down, but not officially. It still kind of has the door left open to be made. Uh, and especially given the fan reaction and the amount of attention it's getting right now, I think the tweet is sitting at about 9 million views. And I really just think this is a project that you can't pass on. You look at this animated style, which is really clearly reflecting into the Spider-Verse or across the Spider-Verse, both of these being really profitable movies. So I think there's a clear model for how this could be a really successful film. And it could very much be its own thing since you have a really unique storyline here. The basic premise is that Batman is really old now. Bruce Wayne is in his 70s or 80s. He's not physically able to be Batman, but for whatever reason, he finds a replacement with Terry McGinnis. Uh, who becomes the next Batman and carries on the mantle. But Bruce Wayne is very much still the brains of the operations. He's still pulling a lot of strings behind the scenes. He's basically sitting in the Batcave every night and coaching Terry McGinnis through the live footage he's watching on his computer. Even though eventually Terry McGinnis kind of turns Batman into his own role and really develops it into his own personality, I just think this dynamic is something you can't ignore and I think a Batman movie in a futuristic Gotham would really be something that could connect with fans especially in today's world and I think another good thing about the animated format here is that it wouldn't take away from the Batman 2 or the new future plans with Robert Pattinson because uh, it's really easy to distinguish between these very two different versions of Batman, how they look, their settings, all of that stuff. I think the animated versus live action is a good contrast here. Um, and I just think you can never get too much Batman. Again, you look at the Spider-Verse, there is even so much Spider-Man surrounding the release of both of these movies. You even have Spider-Man No Way Home bringing three versions of Spider-Man back to the big screen. And both of these movies were extremely pro profitable, both into the Spider-Verse and across the Spider-Verse. So I just really think there's a clear model there that you can't ignore, I think especially with the loud fan reaction and loud uh, fan support of this potential project that it has to get made at some point. I really hope this happens. I'm really excited to see what could become of this project. So that's just my two cents on that. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you later.